today we are taking a look at Cascador, which is a new revolutionary AI-powered physically based animation software. Or is it? This is actually a long string of words, but basically, it is a new animation software powered by AI tools to enhance and improve your life while doing keyframe animations. However, the devil is in the details, as they say. It is not every day that you see a new animation software pop up into the scene, but more importantly, one that garners as much steam as Cascador does. While in essence, this is just a rigging and animation software, it is also so much more. So let's see what the hype is all about. My first exposure to Cascador is a video a while back from Ask Anke. Back then, one feature caught my eyes. Alright, maybe two or three. The first is the advantage that the software provides when creating key poses, and secondly, its amazing ability to automatically generate physically accurate movements between these frames. The way that Cascador's AI is calculating the ballistic trajectory of a jump or the absorption of a landing looked like magic to me. So when Cascador approached us last week, it was a no-brainer. I love this software and what it offers for creators, game developers, VFX artists and animators in general. And even though the AI part will always keep me a bit worried, I think we can as artists absolutely coexist with AI and AI powered tools. Because they are really useful, especially in big productions when trying to meet deadlines. There are stuff that no amount of artificial intelligence can achieve. Just recently, I've watched a video where AI attempted to replicate the painting Seventh Plague of Egypt by John Martin and failed miserably because simply put, there are stuff only human beings can do or at least this is what I like to believe. Now, you can start using Cascador by going to cascador.com and register for a free account. After that, you can download the software. Once you install it, you will be prompted to sign in. Once you sign in, you should see something like this. Here you can pick between the dark and light themes, and of course you're gonna pick the dark, right? I don't know why they are giving us the illusion of choice, because no one is gonna pick in the light option. Anyways, the second window is way more helpful. Here, you can see a list of tutorials, and a ton of sample scenes and animations that you can load and take a look at to better understand and get a feel of the way the software works. The application is amazing not only for animating human characters, but also for bipedals that include animals as well as quadrupeds. And on the topic of what Cascador can do, I think it is a good time to talk about this. Cascador was developed by a game company called Nikki, and the software was firstly announced about 4 years ago, but only recently the full version was released. This tool can be used and abused for absolutely zilch in the so-called basic version. But for professional animators who want a limited commercial use of all the features, there is also a pro version. This is an all-in-one animation suite that has everything animators could need, minus friends of course. From rigging to curve editor, the software can do it all. But let's be honest, the only reason I was interested in this software is in the first place because of the AI assisted features. And these can be divided into two main boxes auto posing and auto physics. Auto posing, as the name suggests, tries to predict the poses that you want to make and set it up for you automatically. The prediction will be calculated based on how you move the controllers around. So if you bend the leg or rotate it around, the whole rig will follow suit to make it look natural, at least from the standpoint of anatomy. This not only helps a ton when creating key poses, which are basically the building blocks of your animations, it also saves you a lot of time during the process, as you don't need to move every single joint separately. You can enable auto posing for any character using the Cascador rig, which you can apply using the Cascador quick rigging tool. And we will talk about that in a bit, including how to activate auto pose mode in your toolbar. Next is auto physics. This one is honestly a very powerful feature because it does the very thing I hate most when animating and dealing with this mess. It allows you to polish your animations and add all those secondary and small movements with just one click. Usually after the key poses and splining, 
The polishing phase is one of the most time consuming processes where you will go in and you will adjust the curve of each keyframe and adjust each joint position so that the animation would look believable from momentum to chambering actions. And this software can do all of that very easily. You can elevate your animation in literally seconds, but don't take my word for it. Check out this character. All I did was moving it from one place to another, and then voila, auto physics, do your magic. Now you can see a lot of physically accurate movements added to the animation automatically through Cascador's AI. And of course, there is a ton of customization here. It's not a one trick thing. On the physics tab, you can adjust every single aspect of the movement like secondary motions to get exactly what you want. Now let's take a look at the interface. Honestly, everything here is very simple and this is a very good thing. You don't want to be bogged down by hundreds of windows, panels and buttons. At the bottom, you can find your timeline and on the right side, you will find the outliner and various other settings like scene settings, physics settings and so on. And on the top, you have your trusty toolbar, very standard stuff. Finally, there is your viewport. The navigation is the standard 3ds Max or Maya navigation system, which is Alt plus one of your mouse buttons for panning and rotating and the scroll wheel for zooming in and out. On the timeline, you can create keyframes by hitting F and then moving your character and not the other way around. So you create a keyframe and then adjust the pose or the position. To play the animation is not the space button, it is actually the X key. And to change the interpolation between the keyframes, you can use this button right here. But if you want to see the fun stuff, enabling the auto physics option, you will see a green character next to your original character. But when you play the animation, you can see that the model now has some physics and this is all thanks to Cascador's AI powerful tools. You can now either adjust the interpolation further or merge the result with your original model. And if you want to know more about how these features and many more work, you can check out the tutorials that Cascador released breaking down everything concerning the software. The documentation is also pretty extensive and this makes it really really hard to get lost. So, if you like what you see and want to try Cascador for free, you can follow the link in the description. Also, Cascador offers premium licenses where you can have access to more premium features. But again, the free account should be more than enough to try the service. And everything will be under the like button as usual. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.